This is a, a nice figure because it shows a lot of different structure types in one place. I just wanted to hit a couple high points here. In this figure, in general, you've got lower voltages up top and then you got higher voltages down at the bottom. Up at the top, I see some 115 kV and 230 kV structures and then down at the bottom they go up to 500 kV. As you get up into 500 kV it's actually showing the towers are more substantial, they are taller, and, and at 115 kV you don't need uh, as much support. But um, up on the top line we do see a couple H-frames and I don't talk about those in more detail here but the the h-frames in in this particular in this particular drawing they're wood uh, which is actually the uh, transmission line that runs about a quarter mile away from my house is uh, wood h-frame at 230 kV this one on the left 115 kV and over on the right is 230 kV also I wanted to mention that these different structures that are shown right here they will either uh, be carrying one transmission line with three conductors or two transmission lines, in which case you will see the insulators for actually six conductors because when you're looking at two three phase lines, then you've got six conductors. Um, so these, the ones that are shown here are either single line or double line construction. And of course, what we see the H frames and then we see some some monopole designs with uh, just one pole, and then there are a number of uh, lattice structures, lattice towers that are shown in this picture. And we actually looked at this tower in a uh, previous lecture, so I will not go into great detail here, but a couple of things I didn't mention was that structures oftentimes will have a cross arm and the cross arm of course supports the insulators which then support the conductors themselves and we had talked about the shield wires before for lightning protection and those shield wires are connected to ground wires and the ground wires are connected to ground so they actually run to uh, the base of the structure and they'll be uh, typically ground rods or that the crews drill into the ground to establish that ground from the energized conductors. Ground is a funny concept in electrical engineering and electrical systems. You can think of it as being not energized although that's not always the case, but ground is meant to be neutral or not energized. Like these phase conductors, they have 230 kV, 138 kV energized conductors, and the ground is not supposed to be energized. It's supposed to be safe. 